um, moisture cooling sensation. That's basically what it is. So when we read step by step, you are um, you are going to put the hyaluronic acid, which is a high concentrate moisturizing ampoule. I think that's how it's supposed to be pronounced with sodium hyaluronic to deliver moisture into the skin and prebiotics complex to help a healthy condition. Then you will actually place the actual mask on it is a five percent natural origin cooling rubber mask from um mask formulated with kelp extract by uh for skin moisturizing and um core core modeling mask ingredient um the sheet type rubber mask for cosmetic and method manufacturing it um uh, i mean like the patent over there and then this is a sheet type for a mask made with patented manufacturing method. It is easy to apply by simply putting it onto the face without having to mix and spread and effectively, effectively retains the moisture all while um, still providing, providing, providing an excellent cooling effect and delivery of core ingredients from the ampoule. So um, after you wash your face, you apply the um, the moisturizing and pull, uh, which is in step one. Apply it on your face. Open the rubber mask, which is step two, uh, and remove the protective film. Apply the upper mask by smoothing out for a perfect fit, and then apply the lower mask by putting both ends up uh, up to the ear. Apply it for, leave it on for thirty to forty minutes. Remove rubber mask and lightly pat the skin to help absorb the remaining ampoule created by the ampoule skin will feel smooth and glowing as if one had been sleep had used a sleeping mask. Rubber mask may be torn or damaged if pulled hard or pierced with a sharp object. Now, this is like a slightly different concept for me where you actually have to put the product in the actual part on your face it kind of almost goes as if you're like putting a moisturizing cream um and this does actually give the cooling sensation um it doesn't have any moisture moisturizer in it for it to actually make this dirty um however this is different never seen it before it is a korean brand i believe is it i'm assuming it's korean um yeah made in korea so it is a korean product um and you know they are pretty advanced in skincare technology to begin with which i am not surprised um that is actually one of my goals to actually go get some kind of a, you know skincare treatment and hair care treatment from it like in korea specifically but anyways that's like a whole different topic now um, when I first put it on my face, I did feel some kind of moisture. My skin is towards the drier end to begin with. I was just hoping that it just doesn't become that one layer on top of your skin and ends up blocking the skin, um, which it didn't. So it's good. Um, the good thing is what I like that is that since the serum itself is kind of like a moisturizing cream is pretty thick, so you don't get any um serum dripping around everywhere and stuff like that so that is good um which i liked um once i put it on you don't feel like the extreme coolness of the mask but it's somewhat cool you kind of feel good i normally try to relax as much as i can when i wear facial masks especially something like this i do have two more which is not necessarily the moisturizing hyaluronic acid in it um, I would recommend that if your skin is extremely sensitive, um, if you get any kind of reaction specifically from this, please go ahead and wash your face right away. That is the reason why your skin should be reacting, not from the mask itself. Um, after I took off the mask, I did see that um, it doesn't go right into your skin. It doesn't seep into your skin right away. Why it says that kind of gently pat it in. But it does feel my skin is extremely moisturized. I do feel like this is plus in my skin because my skin is on a dry end and I don't... 
if you saw my previous skincare pro, uh, review, it was on a serum and that serum has not been helping me a lot. So the facial mask is doing a plus in terms of hydrating my skin a lot more and moisturizing that it needs. Um, the thing is, I would do it in the morning, but um, I mean, for this weekend, um, this Thanksgiving weekend, I am okay uh, with me doing it in the morning however like starting from monday i would not be able to do that because i got work and i only am waking early and i cannot possibly wake up any earlier just for a facial mask to be done 30 to 40 minutes um so that being said i would do it at night time and just hope for the best in the morning of how much it will still be moisturized after taking shower washing my face and everything however i would do it on the weekends as much as i can i do actually like dr jart after trying for the first time um i don't know why i was thinking about the mask itself though i'm not gonna lie but other than that i do highly recommend it it actually is a positive turnout um and i like it um i think this probably by might be by far the favorite facial mask i have used um if there's anyone that you guys think might be similar to this or even better please do let me know and i definitely want to like try it out and compare it with this but other than that i'll be linking both my subscribe pages down below make sure to follow hit the subscribe button the bell button and i'll be back for more stay safe and stay tuned guys